Oh baby. <laughs> it's okay, he's calmed me down a bit. He's kinda nice. You want that? Yeah, he's fine. He's not just do something. Right, so if you've been left for a bit of time, probably heard of the knees out cue for a good squat. But did you know this is not only just useful for the squat? We're gonna talk about that today and how we can use this to improve our deadlifts. Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. quick and see what we do. So first of all, knees out, why do we do it and what is it useful for? Knees out is basically the more digestible version of the external rotation of the hips cue, right? Uh, it means it's easier to apply and easier for people to understand what we're talking about. So pushing out the knees is also a job of the glutes. When we push the knees out, the glutes activate to do their job and help brace the knees as well as put the lower back in a correct position. When everything's in the correct position, do the job efficiently, we can produce more force and therefore lift more weights, which is what we're here to do. This kind of lends itself into the next point, which is safety. When all the muscles are activated and doing the job correctly, the body's not only more efficient at producing force, it is also in a safer, less injurious position, which means we're not going to hurt ourselves doing the lift. So this cue is often used for the squat because during the squat, there's a lot of force traveling through the knees and the stance leaves scope for a lot of variability in the position. And without the right muscles engaging, they shoot inwards to the path of least resistance and the strain is placed on the joints rather than the muscles. In comes the knees out cue. But just because it's more prevalent and obvious in the squat doesn't mean we can't apply this cue to other lifts to get the benefit from it. One of the next main lifts I use to illuminate this fact is the deadlift. Very early on in teaching the deadlift, we introduced the knees out cue uh, as a main focal point. As we said before, the glutes have to be activated to keep the lower back and the knees in an anatomically correct position uh, to prevent injury. And under a deadlift, it can get very heavy very quickly, so you want to sort that out as fast as possible. The knees caving in on the deadlift is less of an issue than it is on the squat, but it's still relevant. Pushing the knees out does activate the glutes to help keep the lower back in a nice tight flat position, which tends to be more of a problem for the deadlift. With the knees out cue, it helps or aids all these problems with one simple movement, pushing the knees out. As the glutes are a primary mover in the deadlift as well, learning to activate them properly only helps serve our any hypertrophy or muscle building goals. It means whatever your goals are and whatever you want to do, you should be learning to get this cue down correctly uh, from the get-go. So in brief, that means you can lift heavier weights faster uh, for a longer period of time without ruining your body and build more muscle. You can't really go wrong with that. So the next problem is how much is too much? Because there is such a thing as too much. We don't want the knees caving too far outwards as much as we don't want it caving too far inwards. In the same way we wouldn't want the spine overextending outwards as we would want it rounding over forwards. So to prevent this, we use the guideline kneecap in line with outer toes. This tends to put people in the perfect position to reap the benefits of the knees out cue without overextending themselves and putting undue strain on their joints. Less obvious examples other than the squat and the deadlift uh, that still benefit from this movement is anything that requires a stable base to push off from, uh, your bench press, your lunges, anything that will benefit from extra stability and a stable base to push off of will always result in a better lift. Well, that's it, that's all I wanted to talk about. I think I touched upon all the points again. Uh, hopefully I got across the point, hopefully I understand how important it is to get these cues correct. That's it for Two Minutes Tuesday and hope you learned something. Uh, as always, if you liked, if you learned something, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And other than that, uh, we'll try to find some more things to, to sprinkle into your routine. As always, much love. I know, you always ruin it in videos, <laughs> see? <laughs>